Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Shilpa Data Insights. In today's session, we will go ahead and discuss how to create a data frame and how to read the data from the table. So for that, I'm using PyCharm with Snowpark version 1.5 and the Python version 3.8. So let's get started. I'm importing some modules and with the help of the configuration parameter that is being declared in the configuration file, I will be setting up the session and then I will be creating the data frame out of it. If you don't know how to create a session or to get the connection parameters, please watch my previous video in which it will be much more clearer how to go ahead and get started with the snowpark. So in order to create a data frame, the session provides a module called create data frame in which you can provide the data list and the schema list. So the data can be in the format of a list or it could be a tuple and schema can be a type of a list with the help of the string or it could be a struct type. So I will go ahead and show you both the scenarios, how exactly it is implemented. So if you see my screen, there's a small documentation that is there. So using the help of the create data frame, I will be creating a list out of it. And this list is being given a schema with the column name as A, right? So let me go ahead and execute this particular statement and show it to you. So you see now, it has created a data frame which is A with 1, 2, 3 and 4, okay? Similarly, you can go ahead and create multiple columns with the data, right? So you have to mention the schema as the column names, which is A, B, C and D. And the row here is 1, 2, 3 and 4 as A, B, C, D and 5, 6, 7, 8 again as A, B, C, D. So the first row contains this record and the second row contains this record and it is inside the particular list. Let me show you and execute this particular statement. You see A is having the record 1 and 5 and then B 2 and 6, C 3 and 7 and D as 4 and 8. This is how you can go ahead and create multiple columns and create a data frame out of it. Let's say if you uh, want to go ahead and create a schema with A right and you want to pass a dictionary in it right that also you can go ahead and do it so if i execute this particular statement it will throw me an error here stating that it has an invalid identifier aa because i cannot go ahead and combine an integer with a string data type so therefore it is throwing me an error let me go ahead and give an integer here and let me execute this particular statement so now you see it has this column A with all the records in it. So this means Snowflake can recognize what is the data type it has to recognize in order to create a data frame, right? So if I go ahead and check the query history here with the refresh button, you will see it has the select A, B, C, D and it is actually giving me the values of it and what is the data type. So it has selected the first column as A, second column as B and so on. And it has given the data type as integer with all the columns, right? So it can infer the data type by its own. Now let's say I want to go ahead and create a data frame with the help of pandas. So I will be importing the pandas module first. And then with the help of the create data frame, that is the Snowflake provides, there is a PD dot data frame, right? And then I will be mentioning what is the column list. And inside this list, I will be providing the data inside it. So let me go ahead and execute this particular statement. You see now the data has been there with A, B, C, D and 1, 2, 3, 4. So the next step is to read the data from a table. So I have a table called call center and I will be reading the data from this particular table. So we have a module called session. Inside that we have a table function and inside that table function, I will be just passing the table name, right? And I will go ahead and execute this particular statement. So let's see what is the type of that particular DF. It is the snowflake snowpark table. It is not a data frame, but it is a snowpark table. Let me go ahead and execute this particular statement. You see the data is now loaded basically inside this particular DF, 
Now, if I want to query that particular table itself, then I can use the session.sql with the particular select statement and I will go ahead and collect it. So once I collect it, let me see what is the particular data type of this particular record. The type of the particular record is actually a data frame right now. Let me go ahead and show the records, only the top 20 records here. So you see the top 20 records are displayed. I will come up with more such videos on Snowflake and PySpark. If you like my video, then hit the thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you have a good day.